Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello. I've got marshmallows. <laughs> I've got a big bag of marshmallows. Hi, Janie. Hi, Renee. All right. I'm putting away the marshmallows. You have cashews? Mm. Hi, Tina. You better share a cashew with me. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Yvette. Oh, thank you. It's a good one. Salty. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab my uh, those scrapbooks. I can show you those real quick before we get started on the thing. Hold on one minute. Let me grab them. So I've got a stack of books. A stack. A stack, a stack. A stack attack. Okay. Alright, so first thing is I have a composition book. An old composition book from like, I'm talking old composition book that somebody used for math class and then after they used it for math class somebody else or that or that same person used it as like a scrapbook and it's like a really old because composition books have been around for a hundred million years um but it's got some really cool um math problems and such but then it's got all these cool, like really old articles. Um, that are taped to some of the pages that. I haven't found a date on this one yet, but I haven't looked all that closely for it either. But there's like different little cutouts of like some sort of little, either poems or stories or something on that page. The shortcut link? What do you mean? Why do my glasses have crap on them? I wonder, I see spots all the time. Just, just, just send her the link. In a messenger, Karen. Just, just copy it from above and send it to her in a message. cleaner so there's that page that's kind of fallen out over time 
There's more math problems, more math problems. Hubert. Hubert Delby? Deal, deal, daily? Daily? Something like that. He's signed, it looks like he's almost signed every page, bottom of the pages. Quadrative equations. So there's all kinds of math pages, but it goes back to being used for scrapbook in the back here. But it would be cool. I mean, obviously these pages, um, they're not too fragile. Not, and well, they kind of are, but you could cut the strings and use these as pages in a journal. Um, but in the back here, after all the math problems, there's more like cool pages. This one has like a Christmas cutout, an Indian cutout, and, it's, and like another, more of these little stories or poems. And, and then on this side, there's some. Yeah, there was no dates on any of the math pages, I don't think. At least I didn't see any. January 22. Oh, maybe it's the 1922. It's the only thing I could think of. January 1922, I'm going to assume. So, I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. I mean, that was what the people looked like, so uh, I would say that's about right. January 1922, I would say that's about right. That's what they probably, that's what pretty much how they dressed. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of pages. All these little story things they must have gotten out of the newspaper. Yeah, I could tell by the way they're dressed. That it's either, yeah, it's got to be around that time. It's got some pretty cool things posted in here. I think they ha yeah that part the, I was gonna say that at some point the pages kind of come off in the back again they kind of ripped out of the book at some point but there's a bunch more pages so I think this could be used for either putting rings in it or you know stitching it or putting rings in it of some sort and put page protectors and then put it in a journal. Some of the pages, not all of them, of course, but I think they'd be okay doing that. Or taking them and um, laminating them, you know, so that they're preserved. And, and, and you know, and then putting them in a journal. So there's that one. That's the most delicate one that I have, and that's that was just uh, thrown in with the lady threw it in with my stuff. So I was like, yeah, sure. Cause she's like, I can't really do anything with this, but <laughs> I guess it was inside. I can't remember which one it was inside of, but it was inside of one of the of the journals. Just stuck inside. And then let's see. I have this one here which is, I don't think, yeah, this one's just a plain scrapbook. The string is kind of broken off on it, but I think what I'm going to do with this one and at least one more is I'm going to make a kit out of these 
since the, you know, the paper in here is not, you know, it's quite worn. Um, I'll leave it. I'm going to leave the thing like this, but I'm going to give every, I'm going to give, put in with the kit, um, you know, paper to make it like I did mine and a couple of rings to go into the thing. You know what I mean? So it can be, they can, you know, do a journal like mine. You know what I mean? I'm going to put all, give them all kinds of paper, coffee dye paper, stuff like that. And then they can make a journal like this out of it. Because what else could you do with it? You know what I mean? So that's the plan. And I'm hopefully going to have that done by the auction on Sunday. So I'll leave it like just like this in case they don't want to do that with it. But, you know. So there's that one and then this one too. So there's two that are the same, one in black and one in red. Those are the two I'm probably going to do that with. I may do that with another one. I'm not sure yet. This one has a couple of pages that were ripped out. But again, it's the pages are too brittle. You can collage it onto something, you know, and glue it onto something, but you can't really use it. So, but that's what I figure I'd do with those. And then there is this one, which, yeah, this is the one I, she stuck a bunch of stuff in here for me, but this one too, I might turn into a thing. Um, but this one's got nicer paper in it. The paper's not quite as brittle, so it could be used in the journal. So if it was taken apart and rings were put in, it could actually, these papers could be put back in it and used um as that but it's got stuff in here which i'll show you um separately i guess she had stuck it in here for me and um i'm probably going to keep most of that she had given me a bunch of ephemera just random stuff that she had um that's everything right yeah. So this one, again, I'll probably make into a journal kit. Oh, and then she gave me this ephemera here and these pieces, which I'll show you all that afterwards. And that's another one. Okay. And then there's this one, which, okay, this one's got, somebody actually used it as a scrapbook and they would do like, which I think it was popular back then, according to this lady, was they would, some, some ladies would get obsessed with like movie stars and either you know any kind of film stars or whatever and so this one's got all kinds of really cool different articles and memorabilia with different you know actors and actresses from the 30s it looks as if probably and yeah it's really cool to look through them diana lewis is that Rita Johnson, Bonita Granville? These people were from what? At least the 30s, right? 30s, 40s maybe? Yeah, Mickey Rooney. So yeah, that was around the time. Mickey Rooney was fairly young here. So yeah, that had to be around the time, right? Because uh, what's her name? Uh, um, yep, I can remember. Um, him and her did a lot of movies together around this time. Teddy Lamar, Ralph Bellamy, Anne Gwen. But it's interesting. This would be really cool for somebody to have. Jane Withers. It says, here's Ginger with her brunette, and then it cuts off. I'm assuming, is that Ginger Rogers? Or, or a different Ginger? I don't, I, it might be. I don't remember what she looks like enough. Ingrid Bergman. So I would say that Mickey Rooney I recognize, of course. Um, I've watched almost every movie of... Is that Joan Crawford? Maybe. Mickey Rooney again. With Judy Garland. That's her name, Judy Garland. I don't know why I couldn't think of her damn name. 
And yeah, she's fairly young here. So yeah, that's got to be around that time. Like the 30s-ish. It's really cool though. Clark Gable, Joan Crawford. It's interesting. It's interesting to look at. My mom would have loved these. Anyway, so there's that one. And then there is this one. This one has a little, what is that, little terrier dog of some sort. And this one. I'm so afraid of wrecking it. It says, there's a garden. What a gardener only happy faces bloom there and there's never any room there for a worry or a gloom there oh there's music and there's dancing and a lot of sweet romancing when they play a polka <laughs> they all get in the swing this is lyrics isn't it uh, every time they hear that something everybody feels so tra la la Oh, every time they hear that something pa pa, everybody <laughs> feels so tra la la. They want they want to throw their cares away. They all go la di a la di a di a. Yeah, this is a song. And then this her, the handwriting looks like my mother's handwriting, which is was throwing me off when I first looked at this because this is my mother. Her handwriting is almost exactly like this. So when I first looked at it, I almost thought it was my mother's handwriting because I know it's not, but I was like, whoa, that's crazy because that's her handwriting. Um, anyway, uh, they want to throw their cares away. They all go la di da di da di day and then they hear a, a rumble on the floor. It's the big surprise they're waiting for and all the couples from form a ring for miles around you will hear them sing oh i was gonna say i knew this sounded familiar i remember my dad used to sing this um roll out the barrel we'll have a barrel of laughs that's what this song is i was gonna say it sounded so familiar and i'm like i know this is a song i know it is but when i saw the thing that's what song this is somebody wrote the song wrote the lyrics out to roll out the barrel and my dad used to always sing that like, when I was really little, he would sing that, like, around the house. Here, I'll try to put that back the way it was, because I don't want it to get ripped. The Bluebird in Technicolor. That's an old what? That's, yeah, it's an old movie poster. Shirley Temple. Oh, is this the one that has a lot of Shirley Temple in it? I think so. And then it says, Mr. and Mrs. Clark Gable. There's a picture of them. And then... Who that is? Osa Masson. And Nagal. And then there's more. I don't know if these were owned by the same people that made the other one. Possibly. I can't remember if she said or not for sure. But I think probably. Lana Turner. That's so cool, though. No, this I don't think. Well, I don't know. Maybe this one is. I'm not sure. Spencer Tracy. Mrs. Spencer Tracy. Humphrey Bogart. Randall Scott. Joan Bennett. There's a lot of people I've, obviously, I know just from my mom and from movies I've watched. I've watched a lot. I used to sit and watch a lot of these old black and white movies a long time ago. They would come on TV and I'd just sit and watch them. Ginger Rogers. So some of these faces are very, people are very familiar. Shirley Temple. Okay, so this is when Shirley Temple was, it looks like she's probably 12, 13 years old. So 
how old is Shirley Temple? Let me see. Let me try to figure out a range of age because it looks like she's probably about 12 or 13 in that picture. What year was Shirley Temple born? Shirley Temple was 1928. 1928. So if she was born in 1928, 1938, so like 1940, 1941 ish. In that era, this this is where she got some of this, or I don't know if she put it together over years. I'm assuming probably. So this might have started in the 30s, and then you know late 30s or something, and then over time she filled it in. Because back then it wasn't like now. Now you can, now you can, um, now you can, you know, put a whole scrapbook together in a matter of hours if you have a couple magazines. Whereas back then you had to wait till the newspaper came out. Then you had to look in the entertainment section of the newspaper, sit and clip out all the things. So it would take you a long time, you know, to, to do it. Dorothy Lemur. Bing Crosby. Wow, he was young. Look at that. Look how young he was. Joan Crawford. She, for some reason, even though she's younger here, she still looks like the bitch that she is. <laughs> and Judy Garland. She's 16 here. Okay, so yeah, it says movie star Judy Garland. I hope my next 16 years will be just as nice, meaning it must have been her birthday or something. What year was she born in? So let's see how much further along that is. What year was Judy Garland born in? 22. So 22, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So it's 1938. Oh, what? Oh, maybe this picture is old or something. So maybe actually, maybe she's not as, maybe that Shirley Temple picture, she's not as old as I thought she was. Maybe she's not 13. Where is it? Where's that picture of Shirley Temple? She must not have been that old if this is 1938. Here it is. So, okay, this had to have been around probably 1938. So if she was born in, what did I say? 19, what's, what year did I say she was born? I don't know. Um, so yeah, it had to be instead of 1940-ish, it was probably 1938. And she was probably like 11 or 10. I couldn't tell. Black and white photos throw me off. It's hard for me to tell how old somebody is in a black and white photo. Interesting. My mom would have been like uh, three years old. Hedy Claudette. It's so interesting to me that the things that people would collect back then. And it's funny because I never, when I, year, a few years ago, before I had known that people would do this type of scrapbooking, the only type of scrapbooking I would assume that people did was like, oh, I got a greeting card, or I had this piece of ephemera, or I went to a movie theater you know, their first movie theater or whatever, like a silent movie and they had a ticket and they would put it in there. That's the kind of, I didn't think that they would take actual clippings out of newspapers until I saw the first time I had saw a, a scrapbook like this. I was like, yeah, I guess they would have because obviously in the newspapers, I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think the newspapers had things like this in it. Like it didn't even dawn on me. I just thought the newspapers back then were like all about, oh, you know, talk about this war and who's this president and this, that, and the other. But I really didn't think about the entertainment factor that they had an entertainment section back then. It probably wasn't nearly as big or, you know, whatever as we have now. Or maybe it was because they only had movies back then, no television. Oh, I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie. I don't remember what it's called. He's a trained butcher boy. I remember this movie. I have to remember the name of it. I've seen like every Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland movie there is. And Shirley Temple movie. I have almost every Shirley Temple movie made. But they're all on VHS. Which sucks. Because I wish I had... Um, I wish I had them all on DVD because I used to love her movies. Yeah, news obviously, yeah, newspapers were their ephemera. I just didn't I just didn't even think about the fact that they and I'm talking like a few years ago before I was really like 
you know, watching people do this type of stuff on and like seeing people show stuff like this. Cause that's the first time I ever saw it was somebody else was showing a scrapbook like this and it had like movie stars in it. And I thought to myself, Oh, I didn't even think about that, that they would have an entertainment section in the paper that they probably would cut things out of and stuff. It's just fascinating. I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie. What's this movie? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this movie. From uh, The Underpup. Where the one girl has never seen, like, a, you know, like, a farm or a tree or whatever and then she goes to a rich girl's camp and all that i've seen that movie i used to watch turner classic movies and i'd leave it on for hours and just watch a bunch of different movies it's fascinating though You have one too. What do you have? A book like this? It's not going to stay tacked down. Oh, some of this glue. Tack that down a little bit so it doesn't keep crinkling up if it'll stick. Sometimes these old papers don't like to stick very well. I just don't want it to come off the page. It can like fold and break off. This old stuff fascinates the crap out of me. Like I show this stuff to Chris and he's like, yeah, whatever. And I'm like, doesn't that fascinate you though to see like back in the day, like before, way before, you know, our generation what they were into and how they like followed things like this you know what i mean like to me this was cool to them all this stuff you know this was their like lady gaga and you know whatever this was what they did is you know stuff like this and to me i like i think it's fascinating hey lamar Barbara Stanwyck and Betty Davis, Evelyn Carr. Hmm. It's so cool. So there's that one anyway. And then there is this one, which I think this is the one. Is this the one with the, yeah, this is the one that has a lot of Shirley Temple stuff in it too. Um, somebody stuck this either, untied this and stuck this page in there, but it's a little leaflet. It says beginner's church school leaflet. I don't know. Oh, 1937. July, August, September of 1937. Okay, so that gives us an idea of when this was put together. That's a nice... I'd like to scan that. There's some really good pictures I want to scan in these books. Postage stamps. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's Shirley Temple movie. Yeah, I, I wish I had them all in uh, on DVD. Someday I will replace them. Huh, Charlie Chaplin. I wonder where these butterflies came from. 
I wonder if they, um, and the stars and the moons, I wonder if they were put in at the time or somebody put them in after. Probably at the time. Somebody probably had some sort of, maybe, you, maybe back then you could buy things like that. I don't know. Or maybe they were put in more, you know, in the 60s or 70s or something. I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. Because they're two, they're definitely some sort of like die cutter punch that somebody got punched out. These circles and the moon. I don't know if they had stuff like that back then. <laughs> There's Shirley Temple. And then I think it starts here somewhere where there's a lot of Shirley Temple stuff. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Those are some really cool pictures. Look at the butterfly clippings. So they like butterflies. So maybe that was, maybe they did that because those butterflies cutouts. I don't know. <laughs> the food. See, this is how I expected more scrapbooks to be. Just just random cutouts. I didn't even think about movie stars and stuff like that. Look at this cartoon. <laughs> I like that picture of the cartoon. That's kind of cool. See, here's, here's where it starts. We've got two pictures of Shirley Temple. She fussy-cutted them out. And then we've got these old picture of Mickey Mouse. And, and what's that? Felix the cat. And then there's those little kids. I forget what they they call them. Um, one of you might know on that top row there. What did they used to call them? Those weren't Cupid dolls or something, were they? No, those were something else. But the pages on this is pretty good. This could be, you know, transferred into a journal or something. Somebody glued this in, but the glue got on the top of the page a little bit. Oh, maybe they didn't glue it in. Maybe they, maybe, oh no, they must have had it glued in at one time and then it, they, oh, I see. See, it was here, but the glue came loose. But that I want to, that I definitely want to scan. That's a nice picture. Somebody colored that. Yeah, there was a couple of pages that were colored. Campbell Soup Kids. Yeah, that's it. See now here we here's some more Shirley Temple. I definitely want to scan that one. That's a cool that's a cool magazine page. I wish I could see. Oh yeah, wait. Maybe I can. I would like to see the other side, but I don't want to risk ripping it. See, like somebody had crayons back in the day. <laughs> well, crayons have been around since freaking ever. But it's just funny to see that kids like to color in coloring books back then. And the glue like turns to dust in your hands. But see, I'm seeing like these are cut out of something, not necessarily a coloring book. Like this one might have been cut out of a magazine or some sort of thing because it's got like an, something on the back that's not really what a coloring book would be. <laughs> it says, I am an apple. I am red. Draw me. And then they make it into a pumpkin. <laughs> ah, that's funny. The kid wasn't wasn't very smart, was he? Uh, look, I am a balloon. I am yellow. Draw me. It makes a blue balloon. Here's another one. I am a table. I am red. Draw me. Brown. This person did not know their colors. I am a wagon. I am blue. It's brown. I am a boat. I am green. It's. I am an owl. I am black. It's brown. Either they were being a smart ass or they really had no clue what colors were. Hi crafts for you. And here's more Shirley Temple pictures here. I think there's, is that all? I thought there was one with more than that. Oh, maybe I thought there was, but there wasn't. I thought there was something with more Shirley Temple, but it's a whole two page spread. 
think she was four years old. Hmm. And then that page. All right. And then, lastly, this one here, which I haven't even gotten a chance to really look through this one yet. But this one, the pages are like really, really, every time I touch it, pieces of it just come off. Um, so this one, the cover's good. This could make a really cool art journal or big, just a big journal if, you know, it, this would have to be cut here because this is not very strong and then holes put in it, you know, but it would be cool because I really like the way this looks. I like this little raised thing and everything. It's kind of cool that it's got like textured. I kind of dig this one, but I didn't really, I haven't really looked in this one because, um, see this one says, um, and somebody, so this was, this particular paper that was thrown in here says 1962. So this paper isn't old. I don't know about the book, but this was thrown in there at some point. Somebody, oh, this is stapled. Down memory lane, old songs and poems, Kentucky Bell. Is that it? No. The birdies ball, the old covered bridge and old spinning wheels. Everything's an old this and old that. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, these are, somebody must have cut these all out. They're all down memory lane songs and po poems, every page. See? They're all different songs. You know who would like this, don't you? And I'm half tem tempted to just send this to her. Elizabeth would love this because of all the old songs. There's all lyrics to old songs. I might just take this clump and send it to her if she wants it. And then this is, who says a bathroom can't be colonial? Well, who the hell would want it that way? <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful bathroom? Oh, look at this. <laughs> America's foremost rural magazine march 1946 see those other ones are from like 1930s and they're not nearly as damaged but then again these could have been just thrown in there after the fact i don't know it's just how somebody you know stores things i'm gonna scan that too that's a cool picture colonial in the pink is this stuck in there yeah it is this one is Yes, yeah, so this probably was, book is all from the 40s up to the 60s, I guess. Somebody liked Colonial and Pink, which to me, they don't go together, but you know, whatever. Everybody's mad for pink. <laughs> These are just cool to go through, nothing else. Yeah, a lot of the pages are loose in this one. Somebody wanted to redecorate their house, that's for sure. Household, September to you in here like spurs <laughs> the keeping room is always a great favorite favorite the keeping room damn there's enough pictures in here it's interesting <laughs> 
I'm waiting to see a piece of furniture that my parents had or something. I'm sure I will. Decorating on a budget. Yeah, these would be best taken and put either in plastic sleeves or glued down to an actual scrapbook with a decent, you know, acid-free glue type of thing so that they can not get further, you know, messed up. The whole page is folded up, so this is actually folds down further. How to make a paper mache tray. <laughs> yeah, since most of these aren't really glued in, they're just kind of glued in at the top. They're just kind of cool. Or just use them and cut them up and use them in, in, as decoupage, and, I mean, because they're just magazine clippings. Four sisters from Independence. She refinishes clock frames. She hooks. <laughs> what street corner are you hooking on? She makes dolls and she weaves. <laughs> she hooks. There's a lot of cool magazines things in here. <laughs> there they are. Quilts of Pioneer America. Quilts with a past, Afghans with a future. Oh, look how cool that one is. Definitely need to scan that. Take those little dolls, little girl. That would be cool to have for some ephemera. This one too. A visit from St. Nicholas. Oh, has the whole Twas the Night Before Christmas. That's cool. A McCall's reproduction of Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Mifflin. What? Mm, that's lovely. <laughs> I'll probably scan it. A McCall's reproduction of Young Hair. <laughs> a rabbit no oh, this is the toys that's a cool take this and cut this part out for you know Scan it, size it down a little bit. It would be a cool vintage card cover, card front. A lot of cool stuff. Oh, look at the front of this. That would be awesome for a piece of ephemera for uh, printing. Ooh, that one too. Look at that. That's awesome. I like those. I'm going to have to scan those suckers. Yeah, see these pages are like just crumbling. I should probably just throw them out, but I'll leave them. I'm just going to throw out anything loose because there's no point in it getting all over, over the place. It's already all over the place. 
hooking in the colonial manner. <laughs> is a family hobby. <laughs> Finish that sentence, because here's the continuation. <laughs> is a family hobby. So hooking, being a hooker, is a family hobby. This is going to be hard to keep this all together. <sighs> anyway, I'm not going to go through every little bit of this all night long, but I am going to go through and eventually pick out like some of these cool pictures and look at that. And there's all flowers on this side. Like there's all kinds of really cool ephemera in here. Oh, look at that. That I want to scan. And then make, you know, size it down to be like, use there's all flowers on that side. Ooh, there's a good one there. There's some really good flower pictures that would be great. Oh, look at that one too. There's all kinds. And of course, more house pictures. This person was obsessed with, with decorating. Maybe they were a decorator. I don't know. That's cool, though. I like looking at stuff like that. I'm going to do the best I can to keep it in tech. But that is that. I'm gonna move this one out of the way because it's uh, in my way. It's too big. I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Whew, I'm getting dizzy. See, I got all these crumbs all over my table. So, very cool stuff. Hi, Marg. Haven't seen you in a while. Miss Lady, where have you been? Okay, so then there is, let me make sure this is dry. Okay. And then I have this, this is from 1908. It's a card. It's still in really nice shape other than it's a little bit, you know, well, I think it was supposed to be that color, really. I don't think it was ever white. It was supposed to be kind of a cream color. That's from 1908. Isn't that cool? Or wait a minute, no it wasn't. This is the picture was from 1908. I was gonna say that this looks very new. It's not new, but it's from probably the 70s. They reproduced it. I was gonna say the picture, I was like, is that just a picture on there that, that's from 1908? But then I looked at the back, it was, yeah. It's a reproduction, I think. And this is one from I don't I can't tell because Okay, never mind. I don't doesn't say. But this is a little card. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> but that's a cool piece. Now these are older. These because they came from all all over the place. That one's older. That's an older one. These are old. Or these I don't think these are wait I don't think these are super old but they're pro they're old they're just not like 1800s 1900s they're probably from like 60s or 70s or something they're just little tags this one I know is old this one came out of a scrapbook 
have to have fun while. This one's not old. It's from 82. But it looks old. And this one is older. Yeah, this one's definitely older. Um, these are not old. I think these are, yeah, 1983. They're like reproductions of older, but they're like stickers. They don't have any stick left to them, really. Uh, this is old. An old ad for the paper in the back. This is really old right here. I think the rest of these are pretty old because these are the ones that the other ones were just random ones, but these all came out of like she said they came out of something out of a out of some scrapbook. They were just sitting in it, not the one that she had given me put them in, but something else. That's really cool how they did that little cutout. Yeah, I saw, that's why when I saw it and turned it over, I noticed the barcode. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's not that old. I'm, I'm, I have to go by the front. When you see the back, that's when you can tell most of the time. Like that, you can tell is old. <laughs> that's really old. Yeah, but as soon as I saw the barcode, I knew it wasn't that old. That's really cool. This is old. The improved domestic sewing machine. So this is as old as however old those sewing machines are that you use your foot to pump it. <laughs> Here's a birthday greetings with glitter. And that glitter is on there. Whatever they use to put that glitter on, I wish we had today because good lord that glitter's on there tight. I haven't a clue. It's probably poisonous, whatever it is. What is this? That's an old postcard. 1922. Hmm. This one, this one's not old, but I mean, it's old, but it's not like. It's not the same kind of old as the other things. This is probably from the like 60s, 70s. Doesn't say, but. And there's even a stamp on it. It's from London, I guess. Somebody put a stamp on it. Thought they were going to send it to somebody. And then this is old. What does it say? A one cent postage. June of 1925, right? No, June 25th. And then it doesn't say. Dear Uncle Orson and something. <laughs> I do not know whether something, a letter. Oh, I don't know. They wrote so weird back then. But it's definitely old. Definitely old. Warner Safe Yeast. Definitely old. Printed in Mexico. Your mail to street and number 1934. This one is Dear Sister Vaughn. Yeah, we are so sorry to hear of your ill luck. So I'm sending this card to say just read the verse on the opposite side. It's it is the wish I'm sending today with our best wishes for better days to come from Louise something C 
six purple violets hanging in a row, carrying good wishes everywhere they go. Number one brings happiness. Number two brings health. Number three brings luck in love. Number four brings wealth. Number five, contentment brings best thing on the list. Number six brings everything that the rest have missed. Hmm. 75 cents for a pair of pants great pantaloon sale <laughs> this is where they get their pantaloons <laughs> cashmere pants a dollar fifty Hmm. This one's got glitter on it too. May the Christmas tide be rich with blessings. Let's just and then there's this. May Christmas dawn bright and clear and bring you happiness and cheer. And then there's these, which have never been opened before. Junior Nuance Mounting Corners for your scrapbook. I want to open one, though, because they've never been opened. So these have been sealed in here since God knows when. And they came with the scrapbook. So I'm assuming I should be able to open it. <laughs> but it's, or you know what I should do? Probably open it from the top so not to rip it. But I want to open one because I'm just too curious on what they look like. <laughs> Still have their adhesive on them. Yep, they're just little corners that you stick the picture under. Like they would make today. There's a hundred of them in here, I think. There's a lot in here. There's a whole thing of them. They're like all clumped together. They're, they come apart pretty easily. Hm, isn't that interesting? Interesting. They smell good. Hmm. They actually smell good. They probably have arsenic glue on them or something. I'm like, hmm, smell that. <laughs> for mounting the smaller size of snapshots, all snapshots also for mounting stamps singly or in blocks of four. Moisten the glue and place on album page. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, oh, and this, which is fairly old as well. I don't know how, I don't think it's like 1920s old, but it's pretty damn old. And it's a whole thing of like paper dolls, but more like ephemera, because I will be separating them at some point and using them. I am gonna, I am gonna, um, what do you call it? Uh, scan all this stuff. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, I don't remember that, Irina. Oh, 
I didn't, I didn't remember seeing everybody say hi to you. Or maybe I was, something was going on. I don't know. Did, I don't know if they were or not. All right, let me put this stuff at, aside. Anyway, ugh. interesting stuff. Don't you think? Oh, they were? Oh, I don't remember that. I must have missed it. Miss Karen gave me these cute poodles. Um, sorry, I had them backwards. They are cute. And they're little, um, they're, uh, what do you call it? Oh, they're fuzzy. I didn't even do, feel that before. They're fuzzy. And they're little poodle patches. And they look like all they need to do is be ironed on. Aren't they cute? I like the gray and the pink. That's cute. Very cute. Thank you, Miss Karen. I love my poodle. I should so I could I could be like, you know how Laverne and Shirley Laverne would always have an L on her shirt. I have enough I can put one on each shirt that I wear. I always have a poodle on my shirt. <laughs> yes. Miss Carla, yes. Waiting for Carla to tell me whatever she's yelling at me for. Where's my box at? Oh, it's right here. Duh. I use Gamsol with colored pencils. Yes, I have, I think. Wait. Hold on. Um, yes, I, I yes, I have. I had to think about that for a minute. I have some Gamsol, and yes, I have tried it. Um I, I, but I'm not a colored pencil. Like, yeah, ask Irina because she probably does a lot more. I just tried it once, but I don't know anything about it other than the fact that I tried it with one of those little stumpy things. And I was like, man, you know, like I'm not, I'm not a color pencil or person. I'm not, you know, like if I use colored pencils, it's usually, you know, I'm not, I'm not like, in other words, there are more qualified people to answer any question you've got about that. Okay, so this kit has the late. It, it, I it has it uses balloons. These like balloon things. I think they glow in the dark. I don't know. I'm assuming they do because of the way they look. They look like they would glow in the dark. But anyway, I didn't know it used balloons, which is weird. So you get four balloons. I thought it said you can make three squishies. Why is there the four balloons? Hold on. In this case, one breaks. Yeah, it says makes three squishos. Well, clearly not if there's four freaking balloons. Four balloons, two packs of expanding water beads. Glitter, one funnel, and easy to follow instructions. Okay. Whale van. This is how you get the glitter and crap from the balloons. And they give you that much glitter for four. I'm glad I have more glitter. And they give you two packs of the expanding stuff. This bag sucks. Okay. Let's see. Step one, set up your work area. Find a flat surface that you can use as your work area. Cover your work area with scrap paper, newspaper, or paper towels. Lay out all the materials in front of you, blah, 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 blah. Step two, start creating. Grab your first squishos balloon and place the end of the balloon into the funnel, onto the funnel. Holding the funnel, pour in a quarter of the bag of glitter and a half a bag of the expanding, of the expanding, half a bag. Well, if there's four, why would I put in a half a bag? As close to the base of as possible, try to keep it straight. Okay. 
It says it's recommended to dispose of your Squishos ball after 10 days. Well, that's just stupid. You only get to use it for 10 days? Well, I'm only going to make one then. I'm going to make all of them. Yeah, you can get them at paper stumps at Walmart. They're really, really cheap. All right, so I'm supposed to pour the glitter in. I'm just going to pour some of this glitter in, and then I'm going to... Let me get a little baggie to put this stuff in afterwards. Because it ain't going to stay in those baggies, that's for damn sure. See if I could fit it in this baggie. I grabbed the smallest one I, for some reason. All right. Because then I'm going to use some other glitter. I ain't just going to use their stupid silver glitter. Luckily, this was a cheap, pretty cheap craft. Otherwise, I'd be annoyed at the, the fact that they... I may have to put that in something else because those little baggies ain't going to hold it. All right, let me grab some of my glitter. I got nicer glitter than that. Because they, look, they do you not see on there the stars. I thought the stars were glitter inside, but their stars are on the balloons. This is silly. I got some good stuff we can stick in there. Stick a good stuff in there. That's it. That's some cute thing to make in there. Ooh, look at that glitter I have. We'll stick some of that in there. That's galaxy. Talk about galaxy. We'll just dump a bunch of that in there. And then let's see what else we got. So it's galaxy. So. I got some of that glitter there, but I'm not sure if that's going to be, no, that should be fine. There's a spoon. I need a little spoon. Give me a dang spoon. Now, where the hell are all my little spoons at? Oh, well, I'll just dump it. Eh, I'm making a mess. What else we got? We got some other purple glitter. Just load it with glitter. Ooh, got some other. No, that's, a, that's not black. That's espresso. Let's see. What colors we got around here? Around these parts. What is that? That's a purple distress glitter that's not even opened. Come on, I gotta seal the whole damn thing. Jesus. Is it poison or something? Hi, Sarah. Anything else interesting in here? Not really. Okay. Let's look in the other thing. flakes of this in there. It's easier if I open it. A few of these iridescent, iridescent like flakes. I'm going to put lots of glitter. Why not? In my squishy, I'll put as much as I want. And then some of these stickles. Whoa. Some of these blue. Okay. 
see is a, like a dark blue. I don't think I have a dark blue. What's this? It's a brown. It was a black. Sort of owl. Good enough. I mean, they have every freaking glitter in the world, and there's more glitter than there's gonna be water. I don't care. It's mine, I'll do what I want. It's don't give me enough glitter. Could they ever have given me enough glitter for me? No. Oh, and you know what? I have something else too. Let's see, where is it? Uh, box. my box. I have little hearts, but I was hoping I had some that were darker. I do have little moons. They're probably not the best thing for inside of a balloon. Maybe not. No, I guess not. Alright, we'll just stick to the glitter. Okay. Now, we need to take some of these. Why half the bag? I'm not gonna. Oh, it don't matter. I mean, how are you supposed to make three squishies if you put half of the squishies in one and then half in another one and then what? <laughs> I'm going to do that in the bathroom, obviously. Just trying to clean up my mess. So basically, if you just buy yourself some balloons and some of those expanding beads <laughs> you can make these all right let me fill it with some water and a couple drops of alcohol because that's what i'm going to use i guess i don't have soap
Okay. Now, I tied it off like I was supposed to. Um, we, we, we. But when the, the other things expand, it's going to get real interesting. You're supposed to cut this. Um, yeah, it takes a couple hours for the beads to expand. Best to trim the roll there's around the top of all shape. So trim it here like that. And now we've got a glitter. Is he gonna focus? Focus, jackass. Focus on the glitter. Stupid non-focusing camera. We'll have to wait and see. Karen, you were in here when I showed the ha when I showed the happy mail. I, th I thought I saw you chatting at one point. looks like an umbilical cord yeah it does I was chopping the umbilical cord off I'm curious to what it's gonna be like when I when the when the uh, ball the little balls get bigger in there oh, we'll let it sit we'll let it sit and we'll uh, see how it gets in a couple hours very interesting I mean it's a fun toy for kids I got it because I thought it was pretty and it was at Walmart for four dollars and ninety five cents. <laughs> it's pretty. Oh yeah, we'll put these in bags. Let's put this one in the bag. Ball counts. Where's the other one? <sighs> Let me blow up the beads. What are you talking about? Because these are, yeah, these, oh, you mean, yeah, these are those things. You've seen these, Kennedy. Every damn YouTuber's done something with those. The Orbeez? They're Orbeez. So when they absorb the water they sell a whole thing of them at walmart of orbeez of all different colors you can get orbeez were originally meant for plants you would get them and they would you would put your flowers in them and they would you know keep your flowers hydrated without having to water them and then they became this whole thing where now that's not even what they're used for anymore. I mean, people still, I'm sure, use them for that. But the main use of them is now for kids to play with. Come on, get off my finger and go into the hole. The moisture from my finger is going to make it freaking thing expand. I know they're not. They break apart after a while. Who cares? You're only supposed to use it for 10 days. Stupid. No, I mean, as you squish it, the Orbeez will probably break apart, obviously. But I don't care. It's fun to play with. It was something to do. 
I'll be making slime soon. Not today, but I'm going to. I've ha I have made slime before with my nieces a long time ago. But now, uh, you can make it with all kinds of different stuff in it. And I've got like some stuff to make some good crunchy slime. The crunchy slime is satisfying. Hi, Nina. Yeah, you missed Mix Media Mashup, but... I've showed the scrapbooks, and we just made a glittery, squishy thing, which won't focus. So we'll see how... Gotta let that sit for a while. Gotta let it sit. But now I've got my journal to work on. Um, so I want to finish working on do a little bit in this. I don't know how I'm not going to finish anything, but um, get my stuff for that. Oh, I gotta move this out of my way. Hold on, I don't want these books in my way. They don't need to be here. Okay, I had to grab stuff. Stuff. Had to grab it. Pictures. Ow, my eyeballs. My eyeballs itch. Itchy balls. These <laughs> all pictures. Yeah. And these are. Oh, my eyes. What is this? What is that? Oh, what the hell that is. One of those. I don't know what they are. Oh. oh, okay, I know what they are, never mind. They were cut for something. <sighs> Let's see. I've gotten these, um... Are these stickers? I can't tell. No, okay. I have these from a scrapbook piece that Angela had given me a while ago. I don't really want the sayings that are in it, but, but I like some of the other stuff that's in these. sewing machine out, I think. Gonna cut it out.
gonna cut it out. And I got these as well for little pieces of ephemera. Are they all the same? Oh, mm, mostly. Okay, didn't know that. This would be cool as a page. I might add that in as a page, but put something on the back first. Um, on the back of these as if one of these would fit on here. That would be good. That's perfect actually. And then I can make that a page. Maybe I'll do that. I think either that one or this one. Is this a sticker? Why does that feel like it's got a backing on it? does <laughs> it's a sticker who knew I've still got to glue it down but I don't trust it it doesn't feel that sticky but at least I can do that and stick it to the back of there that sounds good I'll do that in a minute let's see uh oh dropping stuff on the floor already and I haven't even gotten anywhere yet These are those Tim Holtz pictures. Let's see. I'm going to do is put this in like a pocket thing or a tuck thing. I'm going to use this and something else. Let's see. What can you do for the pocket? picture or something that's sewing related that I can use um, that I can use apparently not apparently not what's this uh, railroad ticket Use like a hmm. oh, it's making my back hurt to sit like that and try to go through this box and to put it on my damn lap. 
trying to lean too hard to get over there to do it. It'll be quicker if I just flip through it here. If I can just find a damn something to do with sewing. Every other every other vintage ephemera I have would always have something to do with sewing in it. Now when I want something to do with sewing, there ain't nothing. What is up with that? Hmm? What's this? Public school? No. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, jackass. There's got to be something in here. for me close enough see. my stomach is growling like crazy because my ass is hungry Or I can make like a little sewing thing that could double as a pocket. You see what I'm saying? And catch my drift. But I need to figure out how I want this to sit. Kind of like that. And then there's that thing with the scissors. I could put something over here.
also going to use some thread and buttons. A little lace, but we need uh, ink first. Ink first. I think the ink this is way too white. Actually, I might just hit that with some, before I do anything, hit it with some spray. Where is it? There it is. This is far too dang white for vintage. Far too white to be vintage. What tones of what purple machine? What you talking about? You mean my heat gun? Is it loud? Oh, I didn't know my heat gun was loud on this on this microphone. My other microphone cuts it out. I didn't know that. Huh. Well, I guess the more you know. Sorry about that. Didn't have a clue. I thought it might have cut that background. That put it as, you know, thought of it as a background noise. It, I might be able to switch one of the things and it might do that. I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to do that at least. Like so. Go. There. 
See, I don't want to cover the sewing machine only because the sewing machine is, uh, I might do something more dramatic. I might. machine doesn't look like a sewing machine if I cover it in certain areas. So I might just do that. And then find something else I could put there too, like maybe the scissors. I don't know if I put the whole thing like that, but no. I could put like this back here. stick one of these on here. Stick one of these like here and put one over here or one up here or you know. Let's just leave it. Do the one. I don't want the thing that says mom. I'm not doing a mom thing. So that's basically what we're gonna do right there. I want to round the edges of this a little rounder. This too. Be the pocket for our lady card. Might be like a, I might cut that thing off. I don't know if I like it that much on there. Maybe I don't need that. But we can. Yeah, because I don't want it to be too tall. So we're going to cut that part off. Um, or I can cut the bottom part off first and see how that works. Let's do that. I think I really see it anyway. Do the bottom part since there was no writing on the bottom part anyway. Let's see. Does that make it a little better? So I kind of like that, but I'm not sure. Showing, not showing, and then we can start kind of assembling that to each other first, and then I'll put it in as a pocket. So I'm going to be assembling, start with the easiest one and that's this one here so why you no worky whoa need a pen am I supposed to be all getting all crazy Stick 
put on like that. And let's see, these two pieces need to go together. So I'll stick this on like that. First, I'll adhere this side. I don't care if it sticks off the page a little bit. But this side needs some glue from about here down. So I'll go by that little crease I made. that needs to be glued. Glued. And then I'll stick this there. Oops. of our pocket. And we'll glue the sides and the bottom as soon as I get um, some other things situated. I need my thread. I thought I had some over here sitting here. something. Hmm. Let me grab some thread from somewhere over here.
close up this, but I'm realizing I don't think I could stain that very well because it's a little on the plasticky side, but if I could distress it, it's not like I'm going to use the tape measure as a tape measure, but if I could, that would be kind of cute to put somewhere on here. probably do it with some alcohol ink or something. I don't mind having some of the pink show, obviously. I don't mind for it to be pink. I just want it to be dirty pink. And this I'm going to spray with some of my coffee dye over the garbage can. And let that soak for a minute. And then we're going to attempt to see what we can do with this. And I'm sure I would need um, brown mushroom. What is it? What's that one called? Mushroom. And we could try these three and see what where we get. If I don't like it, I can wipe it off because it is kind of a plasticky surface. So we'll see. And that's odd. The thing is missing off of that. That ain't very helpful now, is it? That's all right. There's a couple of these pads here. If I have to, I'll just use my do it like that. They're dusty. Dusty. They're sitting over there. They need to be dusted every now and again, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. Where's that blending solution at? Um, here. Alcohol blending solution. This is an old damn bottle. See what happens. Where's my glasses? I guess I can't see. Are they on my head? No, they're not. They're on my table. Let's just see what we can get accomplished. Oh yeah, I think we can do just fine. Do some of this. Put a couple layers on, we'll be good. Maybe I'll cut it at the five inch mark. Somewhere around there. And we'll just uh Yeah, this will look real good. Look at it. It's getting all nice and all nice and cruddy. What I might do is just take some of the sepia and drop it right onto the thing and let that happen. Pick up some of it and just work it. See, now we're talking. Now we're cooking with butter. Even the metal looks all janky. Works for me. The magic powers of alcohol ink. All right, now I just need some alcohol to clean this up. Where's that baby wipe at? Clean up my fingers because I got it on there too. Yeah, that's what 
some of that on there. Yeah, probably down here, but I'm also going to put a tiny bit of lace too. I got a small thing of lace here somewhere. Um, here we go, that's going to be perfect. So I think if I tea dye this, I put a little bit of this somewhere. Let's find out where I'm going to put that. Put it up, um, up here, from there to there, from there to there. I think maybe we'll do that. We'll put it up here, like so. And those two can kind of connect with each other. So I'll cut it here. this and make it a little crooked get a few little bends in it and stuff and then the only other thing is some thread and buttons because the thread is over here still wet it's time to dry it off a little I need a stick or something. There we go. There's a stick. of this in there. My finger because um, I don't care. Get it darker. Darker. It's, it's always good to have a finger that looks like you stuck it up a butt. <laughs> Everyone should have at least one of those. Alright, now I just need to gather the end of this thing. There it is. We've got a fun, dirty looking string. Whoa, <laughs> almost had an avalanche. I got this and this on there and some pieces. You know, that wants to look a little bit more raggedy than it does. A little more 
nodded. I need buttons. I keep saying that, but I don't grab them. I need the vintage old buttons. That's all they are. Ooh, Here, that would work. That's upside down. There's this pink one that if I take a little, a little bit of alcohol ink to that, where'd the alcohol thing go? I just probably need to wet it a little bit with some blending solution because I don't want it as dark as the other thing. Get in there. Mm. Let's do it. How about we do this? Be a little easier. There we go. Let's do that. <laughs> A lot easier to do it that way on this in particular, and then just take off some and let it get down in those crevices. Now it looks old. That's all it took. It needs just a few drops. Where's that lid to that? Now we got a matching button. That'll go somewhere. And we've got that button. It's oldie. So we got one of those buttons. Oh, look at that one. That's nice and warm. Dirtyish white button if I have one. If not, I'll make it. Like that's a good one. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's figure this out. I probably should glue it on there first. I need the glue. I need some glue. Give me some glue. Help. Things always fly out of my hands. I need, doesn't I have another thing with that uh, tacky glue in it? Because, yeah, I do. I have this one. Let's try this one because this one's practically empty. I need to fill it back up again. Now, if I was smart, I would have used my sewing machine to put some stitches in here. However, I still can't find my damn wire. Otherwise, I would have done that. So, we ain't going to do it because I can't find my wire. And I ain't going to be searching for it either. I just ain't going to do it. Not today, anyway. But at some point, I'll find it. And then I will put some and I'll put some stitched pages in here if I can. Let's see, that's get a bit of crease. 
face in it like that. Oh, hot glue. That might help if I had my hot glue gun on. I ain't gonna be able to get that down with anything else, really. We're gonna start that there, and maybe I'll do that so that it's a little bit crinkled and bent. And let's get some creases in there. Right. So go in here. Actually, I think I want to stick in that button up there, and then do a, a cluster of buttons here, like that, or something something along those lines and then um that's what i'll do i get it now i'm figuring it out Take this, put that there, and I'll be bending these up a little. Stop it. Yeah, that looks good to me. I might put some more string around that. A little bit of a smaller kind of thing. Lot of string thread whatever the hell it's called that stuff I want it to be thready get off my fingers stop it I just said you waited and then you moved It's gonna go there. We can put this in there. And that there. Put that in the middle. All centered like so. Because I want that pink away from this pink because they're both like the same exact pink. And they're too close together. So I kind of like that. So that's something like what I'm gonna do right there. And then um She's the one that sews all that. That's all her stuff. That's why I wanted her, because she looks like she would sew, right? <laughs> Out of all of them, she's the one that looked like she would. 
See, this is where I want my damn sewing machine because I want to be able to sew a little tab on here, like a fabric tab, but I can't until my sewing machine works. So for now, I just need to stick it in here. Just stick it in because there's nothing I can do about it until I have that. So, oh well. I have to wait. unheated yet heat yourself all right first things first I'm just gonna glue this on top of there nope it is not hot enough yet this one takes forever to heat up my god my other one would have been hot already I'm just gonna glue it on top of this piece of thread so it'll hold the thread down what works what what's wrong with what are you talking to me heat yourself that's right heat yourself I just gotta wait this is a dumb thing it takes forever to heat up because it's not very nice. Oh, you know what? I could put some flowers. Do I have any flowers over here? Let's go like this or like that. I don't know. that one. I don't think there's going to be a flower that's I'm going to like to put there. Small butterfly and how many cents? Eight six forty. Six forty cents. There we go. Let's get close for that and stick that over there. But I'm gonna So it's not so white on the edges. Where's my little... Where'd it go? Hello? Oh. My little baby wipe. I don't know where the other thing went. The whole towel disappeared. Stop, stop 
run away from me. Not very nice. dry yet. I mean, is it melted yet? Whatever it is. What is wrong with your sewing machine? Oh, my plug. I can't find the plug for it. Remember, weren't you in here? Weren't you here when I was looking for it? When I was going to use it and then I couldn't find it or I, I don't know. I mentioned it at some point. I thought I did. Smart. All right. On, got that on. Now I need to figure the rest of this out because I want this to be in here a little more. Or do I want it up like that a little more? Yeah. All right. So now I need to. you get off my thing there we go there we go Maybe a little bit sticky uppy but all right, now we need to tack these down a little bit more, which I'll use some uh, glue for that. I think that's all right, really the way it is, pretty much. And then this will go here. flower I can put there or something. Anyway, I have, whoa, just pulled that out of there. Get off of here. I have like this, but I don't really like the color of that necessarily. Let's see what's in them here. Oh, here's one. I could tea dye it and stick it down. It's a little big. I want something smaller. Stick it on 
green ribbon off of it, maybe. And just put it in there, or I don't know if I like that either. Pearls. I have little ones here that are cute, but that one can go there. This is where I get confused and I drive myself crazy. Oh, there, that's purple. That's what's needed, that little piece of bling. And then I'll leave that, that little bit there. I could do, oh, you know what I could do? Um, if I have enough of those, which I'm sure I do. Uh-oh, just lost the one. Dang it. You jackass. Well, here's... I can't see. I feel like I'm blind. I need to get rid of that off my desk. I have to find my glasses on my head. That works for me. Okay. I used a little glue for that. Jackass. You're gonna have to land upside down. But don't feel like getting the jewel picker out for that. There we go. And then I have to take the shank off of that. Mm, my clipper things. Where the hell are they at? Clippers. And that can get put in there. That's good. butterfly. Do I want my butterfly there or do I want it there? There? Yeah, there. I like it there. Okay, and then 
some hot glue, hot glue, stick down this little dude. And there we go. Because that has like a vintage look to it, even though it's a light, fairly light plastic. Do hit me. Alright. Okay. I think we're done. Cute. I should have put more string under here. I can always do it. Just heat that a little bit and it'll come undone. But I'll leave it for now. Because I'm sick of it. I don't mind if the threads are kind of wishy-washy. As long as they're pretty well tacked down, they're not going to really go anywhere, then I don't care. So, so we'll stick that in. I'll probably stick something bigger and taller in here as well. But for now, that's going to go in. But eventually, I think I'll make... Um, something like a little folder thing with something in it a little booklet a little something maybe to use my brain for a second which is you know how that is because I thought I had something um, I, thought I had paper somewhere that had like sewing stuff on it because if I'm gonna put a little booklet in here I still want it to go with this page's theme but my brain is drawing a blank and I'm trying to think Hmm. Let me look and see, because I think it was a, it might have been a smaller book, like an 8x8 eight eight or 6x6 or something. Let me look real quick. Take a look-see. Oh, 
All right, sorry for the delay. Yes, I know you can hear. I wasn't saying anything. I was just kind of tootling around in there trying to get the paper that I wanted. I had to dig, I had to, it's a pain in the ass, and I almost had an avalanche fall on my head. But I wanted to get small books of paper that had potential sewing stuff in it which this one does it's got like fashion 
I think it's got, yeah, see? And then and these other ones I grabbed because they were there. But yeah, I grabbed all these papers that I could potentially use. So then I don't have to worry about getting up again because they're all here now. Like this one I thought would be really cute, but it might be a little too 50s, 60s, 40s, 50s for this. I was going to use that and make a little thing. I'm not sure that's going to go now that I look at it. But gazillion other papers in here. One of them is bound to work. I do have another one that I see in that head. That one would go pretty well. That'd be a nice one. What's on the other damn side of this? That one right there would work. This is a sewing related. It's got like this is thimbles, like stitch, stitch lines. And that would be a good cover for a little thing. I might do that. I might do that. Buttons and little sewing. So this one's mostly a sewing. That's what I'm kind of looking for. So, I might take... So, no pun intended. <laughs> um, about three hours. How come? Are you in Memphis? Uh, is your name Lynn or Idlin? Or is it Lynn? This has just had a bunch of floral patterns. I don't even remember where I got this pad from. I know where I got this one from. I got this a long time ago. And this one also had sewing machine or something on it, I thought. Oh, maybe not. No, maybe not. Let's see. Hmm, I cut something off the back of that. If I'm using graphic, my graphic 45 paper, you know I mean business. I do not use my graphic 45 paper very often. Not even a little bit. I hoard the crap out of this paper. So if I did this and made this the cover with these patterns on here and then put this down Fold it and put it in there, maybe. That's not what you're gonna see. It's more fashion than it is sewing, but there are sewing things in here, like this. Now, maybe I'll do a plane and put this on it so that it's not having to compete with anything. Let's see. Pencil that sticky paper. Hmm. 
No, I'll save this one for my garden page. Never mind. I'm going to save that one. I need, a, I need another piece of paper. Aha! That's where they're hiding. They're hiding over here. this little dude here which we're going to fold and make a little thing out of I've now lost all the room on my table see, I'm going to cut this in part to go on here I think what I'll actually do is maybe make it over. Okay, well that fits in there. Mm, that's a little tight. That's a little too tight. Let's um no let's not do that. Let's just cut that off because it's gonna be too tight if I put that in there. And actually mm. hmm. maybe I should do a thinner piece. Still thinner piece because that one's awfully thick. Carl needs to come out. Mr. Carl. I lost my page. There it is. I'm going to cut that piece off the top. And off the sides, especially on. What side am I going to put on here? That side? around it. I don't want it. I'll do it on this side. Dang it. I'll cut that crooked. Yep. That's why it's weird because I must have not lined 
lined it up very well. sliver pencil and give it to me. Cover piece. in my way. I'm looking for something and I can't find it. The crap in the way. Is this it? There it is. I'm going to cut that out. Fussy cut out this thing. The thing. pretty but I don't want the background on it <gasps> Ooh, you know what I might use this but I have something else too I just thought about unless I already used it on a different project which is entirely possible I think I have a dress form die cut out that somebody gave me. I have a dress form die, but I ain't die cutting nothing today. I need to get things cleaned up in here before I can go die cutting more stuff and pulling all that crap out. I started getting stuff cleaned up, but then I got busy again. And it didn't happen. piece of plain paper, you know, 
put it on the back of something. Or, or I use that die cut if I can find it. Out of my drawers. All right, let's see. I have stuff in there. First damn place. Alright, now I'm missing a box. There it is. thing. Spool. That's about it in there. Dress form thing should be in here somewhere. It's the only other place it would be because this is the... Uh -huh, what's that? No, it's not in here. I think I used it in that journal that I sold. I think I did, because otherwise it would be here. burning for some reason. Ugh. I don't know why that happens to me sometimes when I'm crafting. I'm not using anything I normally wouldn't use. It just does it randomly. Oh god. Jesus. Like my nose itch. Itch your nose.
go a little bit shorter. There we go. Actually, I can go in a little bit too. Just a titty tad. Actually, I think I'm going to get off of here for the night because I'm getting tired and my nose is bothering me and I don't want to get involved in this any further until another night. Maybe tomorrow if I have time. Or maybe Friday night. But we'll see. But for now, I need to be done with it because my nose is itching me like crazy. It's driving me nuts. But anyway, thanks for hanging out. And uh, I will see you guys. I gotta get to bed anyway because I gotta be up by like 7 30. Because I have to take Chris to the doctor, go to the creative reuse, come back, unload all the crap, blah, blah, blah. Pain in my ass. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good night. Talk to you guys later. Pull the back out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.